Hello and welcome back. So we can add a test, edit. Now we need to be able to delete one. So the same way we are editing, we should be able to delete. So let me click on delete. And that class was not found. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Let's fix that, shall we? Now to fix this will be relatively easy because it resembles the test edit. So let's just duplicate the test edit like so and change it to test delete. Now, if you notice a lot of code is being repeated, but this is good actually, uh, because it's good for fixing this uh, project because running a project like this can become very complex very quickly because if you had a real client with this, uh, tomorrow they will say uh, add another feature here, add something else there and then very very quickly it will get very complex. Now even with a complex system like this if you've segmented everything to a specific function then it becomes easy to fix because you simply go to a specific function and then you know all the code required is right there and not dependent on another function somewhere. You can uh, follow everything along simple like this. So this repetition is good for future um, editing of this project and updating because sometimes if your client's uh, website is online, you have very few minutes to solve a problem. They'll call you and say, uh, fix this, fix that. We have clients waiting, etc., etc." So you have to be able to fix it just like that. And this system helps a lot as you will see once you begin to experience uh, working with different clients. Okay, so delete there. Let's do the same thing here. Delete, like so. Okay, cool. Everything else should remain the same relatively. Let's forget about the posting for now. And let's just look at the reading part. So. This should all do just fine. So I'll be back here and click delete. And there we go. So this is a step ahead. Now we just need to go back to this section where we are selecting where to go. And let's put one more for the test delete like this. Change that to delete as well. Good. Now we need to create the actual file. So Let's copy what we have, class test edit, select all, copy, and then let's right click on views, new, paste, save, and we can say class test edit, but then change it to delete, like this. Okay, cool. So if I now open this, I should see a edit a test, but we're not editing, we are deleting. So let's change a few things. So also let's change the colors of these buttons because uh, this is misleading. Uh, we have back here, back there. That's good. This should not be danger. This should be success like this so that um, it's greener to go back. Uh, you should rethink your deleting. And then instead of save, we put delete. And uh, let's put this one danger. That's the class there, like so. Okay, cool. Refresh, yes, delete. Um, and we should, instead of saying uh, a edit a test, we say, are you sure you want to delete? this test for good no not for good uh, permanently question question mark exclamation exclamation <laughs> yeah they really have to be sure about this so I'll refresh are you sure you want to delete this permanently it should look scary and we don't need all this we just need to know what the name is maybe the description hmm. that could do as well but we sure as hell do not need 
this disabled section. So out of my way. And uh, what else do we need? Da, 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 da. We probably don't need the error thingy because we are not uh, going to be validating anything at all. But uh, who knows, we may need to dis display a message, so let's leave it for now. And um, hmm. what's this other thing here? Autofocus is redundant. So here let's use uh, oop, read only. Yes, I've remembered now. Because uh, one of my subscribers told me read only and not uh, disabled should be used here. So I finally remembered. Okay, cool. So it's read only, we can type in here. Cool. That is all good. Let's put some break tags here. Break tags. And then also here it's read only. And um, I think we need some labels. Let's say uh, label test name, like so. Let's see that. And then we need uh, another label here for test description. Yes. Refresh. Are you sure you want to delete this? Mm -hmm. So the name is here, the description is here. Back. Delete. Now, when it comes to deleting, there are two ways we can delete uh, uh, this content. Because imagine we had a test and it had a hundred questions. And once we delete the test, we're simply deleting the title of the test. But the the test questions remain so that's one way to deal with it you have to delete the questions as well after deleting the name which we're going to see how to handle and then the other way of doing things is to not delete the test really but to just disable it to a point where it's no longer on the list and that way in case you need to revive it for some reason you can easily get it back. But for now, we're going to use the pure delete version. And so let's go back to single class.php. And in here, I make sure we're on the test delete function. So everything here is all good. We just need to change update to delete. That's about it. And let's remove the other array. We don't need it. We just need the ID. That's it. And let's remove everything else like so and then redirect this time we're redirecting to the list yes so let's remove this test id we do not need it and then here tab is tests like so okay cool let's uh, give it a shot uh, and see if it will work delete there we go so it's gone all right, so uh, things is working. We can add, we can edit, it, and we can delete. Let's see those in action. A test, test, something, create. Let's edit it, something more. Test two, disable it, save, back, and uh, it has been saved. Now delete, delete. Good. So everything worketh as predicted. So this is good. Now we have to see how to actually view the test and add some questions. Yes, yes. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, wait a second. Before we go here, there's a problem on this uh, table here. So there's undefined property here. So this is an easy fix. Let's go to line 19. This is testink.php. So let's go here, uh, testink.php. Wait, it says line nine. Did it, did it, 19, sorry. Okay, so let's go to line 19 and right here. So instead of this, we should have tests 
I think that's about it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, that's about it. And also, we can add that active, disabled, enabled uh, situation. Let me come back here, and uh, not this one. This one. So I need this part. Copy that. Let's go to test ink. Uh huh. Back here. Oops, what have I done? Let's put that here. Uh -huh. So then we have active. So back to active. Let's duplicate one row here, the date, and then replace with uh, this active. Uh -huh. And also the these parts here. Uh, just before date, we should change uh, status or active, something like this. Okay, so back here, refresh, and there we go. So my first test, active, yes, boom, boom, boom. Now, on this section, particularly, we don't need the edit and delete here. These things should be done from the class itself to avoid confusion. So all this must go. So... Um, where were we here? So this is the button here. Is this the button? What button is this? Let me remove it. Wait, wrong button. There is one that has a delete, a trash and an edit. This is the one right here. So let's remove these two. Cool. Refresh. Okay, very nice. This also should go. This one is add new. Where is this button anyway? This is a button right here, right? I think this button is this one. So then the other one is not even in this file. Hmm. No problem. Let's go to the test view itself. Instead of that one was test.ink, this one is test.view. Ah, there we go. Add new. So uh, let's remove this whole thing right here. Cool. Yes. Okay. That way we are not editing from here, but we are doing things systematically from the class itself. And you have to go to tests to edit and delete. This will help with uh, controlling who can do what. Yeah. All right. So, so far, so good. Uh, we can call it a day. All right. I'll see you in the next video.